started Aquapack uh, back in 1995. I had the idea of making flat pack furniture, um, but building it uh, in a way and constructing it in a way that would actually hold the weight of an aquarium. Aquapack um, was developing uh, nicely as far as um, the product range and the products and the customers we had, um, and we had, we had to look at the next step for the business. And the next step was to um, invest in machines that could do more, uh, a more factory orientated. Uh, and by doing that, that allowed the company to get to the £1.5 million turnover mark. Um, since then, um, the company has grown further and we've developed the market space that we're in. Um, and that market space now includes kitchens, um, bedroom furniture, uh, hotel furniture, contract furniture, as well as the traditional pet sector furniture that we do as well. Um, we've uh, gone from 16 staff up to 34 staff recently, um, and uh, that's, that's currently uh, growing again uh, moving forward. The next stage in the company's growth um, will be we're looking at expanding again. Um, the company has gone from uh, 1.6 million to 2.8 million or 3.6 million uh, pounds worth of revenue uh, in the next uh, financial year. Um, and we're looking to uh, create a new warehouse uh, to allow us to have a better, better logistics within the business to see the company grow and, uh, to plus five million pounds in the next two years. We started Hypermotive back in uh, 2016. Um, our first project was with a Formula One team working on their curves, their kinetic energy recovery system. We've grown very quickly as a business, much quicker than we ever expected to. So we're currently at 16 engineers and continue to recruit both on our manufacturing side and also into our engineering team. We're working with battery systems, which a lot of people are very familiar with in terms of lithium ion batteries. Uh, but we also work with some of the newer technologies that are coming through, particularly supercapacitors for, for, for short-term power and, and short-term energy storage on the vehicle, but also with the really exciting world of uh, fuel cells and, and, and seeing how they're coming through to vehicles now. We, we work with a wide range of customers from big car companies through to technology developers, through to motorsport teams and increasingly more niche vehicle manufacturers, so companies that are, are making um, volume vehicles in, in lower volumes but specialist vehicles like electric taxis, like last mile delivery vehicles um, and say increasingly we're moving into um, supporting the growth of electric motorsport. In our first four years of business we turned over just short of one million pounds which for us was an amazing achievement from a, from a standing start. This year we're expecting that growth to continue and we should put at least 30 or 40 percent growth into, um, into our revenue and I guess the most exciting thing for us really is we're increasing our, um, the, the number of customers we're working with and the size of the programs that we take on um, and the, the type of customers that we, that we work with. So increasingly more of the larger automotive OEs working on those larger programs. My main love is the plants. That's why I bought Garden Shop because I like gardening, always have done. We have the cafeteria which is always busy now. We have a gift area and then just the ordinary garden sundries, everything from a ball of string to a bag of compost. When we opened the shop, I had six members of staff and we now have, um, it will be knocking up towards 14 um, by the time we get the barn conversion done. So the latest project, because I have to have a project every year, is uh, we're converting an old barn into a new showroom. And we're going to have a lot of extra product lines which we can't stock now because we don't have the room. So hardware, DIY, um, outdoor living, barbecues, machinery, lawnmowers, etc. The first year we turned over, it would have been about 170 and then last year was 220. If we're very lucky, we'll probably add another 30% to the shop turnover.